What's going on? Today I'm going to be reviewing four blockchain NFT games. Uh, I have two of them I like, two of them I don't like, and two of them I really changed my mind on, honestly. I was like, what? Oh, I have a different opinion on this game now. And so uh, my goal for this video is to go through these games, tell you, share with you a little bit of what I like, what I don't like, what I'm looking for in a game, um, whether or not I'm making money in this game. And so, yeah, th th this is just one of those things where I want to make a top list. I'm into the lists right now. And so this is just a very quick overview of these games and my experience with them. If you're new to the channel, my name is Aaron. I'm on a journey to one Bitcoin. I am a brand new crypto investor. I am not your financial advisor. This is never financial advice, okay? I'm a cowboy with a little lizard brain, gorilla arms, and diamond hands exploring the wild west of cryptocurrency with a whole bunch of other wild cowboys. If you want to join us, hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the notification bell for any updated content. Give us a like button on this channel, on this video. If you are a generous person, if you want to help grow this channel, and of course, head into the saloon. We call that, that's the Telegram channel, and we're, that's where we're always talking about new coins that are popping up, that we're getting into, that we're, you know, just like a whole bunch of stuff. Big brain moves, uh, big money moves, and get in there so you could pick the brains of some other cowboys in there. That's much smarter than I am. Okay, so let's get right into it. This first game I changed my mind on, and that game is Crypto Blades, okay? I thought, honestly, it was lame when I first started it. I was like, oh, this is this is really lame. But as I started playing other games, I found some things that Crypto Blades does well that the other player that the other games don't do well. Here's the first one. The first thing it does well is that it runs very, very, very fast. Okay, it's a very, very quick game. So all you got to do is like, so I'm rolling. It's like RNG. It's it's all total random. You you start your account and you get like one guy and I don't even get to pick the guy or I don't get to pick the look of him. Look, these two guys look the same and it looks very basic. And I thought that was a very negative. Now I don't really care. I mean, it looks just like some card. I found the real true purpose of this game. The real true purpose of this game is not to fall in love with the story, not to fall in love with gameplay. None, none of that. Graphics, none of it. It's none of it. Irrelevant. The only purpose of this game is to make money. That's it. That is the only purpose of the game. And so if you're into crypto for making money like I am, this is a great game. And here's why. The battle, the combat system is very, very fast. All I have to do, so I rolled for these guys. And I thought that having different elements was the key. No, having all the same element is actually key. And I rolled the first three uh, as green or as grass or whatever, forest or whatever. And then a fire guy. And then I blacksmithed and I and I started, you know, just forging weapons here. You could see in the uh, right here, you could forge weapons in the top right here, right under my uh, picture here. And it's just you, it's just random. It's totally, totally random. Zero skill involved. It's like you just forge and then you just have a here. Look, I'll do it right now. Let me just let me just forge. And then um, you can't see, but my my MetaMask pops up. And so I have it on the MetaMask Binance smart chain. Um, and then I just. I created, um, it's cooling the forge, as you can tell, like right here in the bottom right hand side, right under my uh, picture here. And then it's gonna create this random like weapon. Hopefully it's a good one. I don't know. It looks like, <laughs> but hold on. Oh, so I gotta, I gotta confirm it. So here's the crazy thing is this weapon right here, this um, earth four star so the, it's one out of five stars right i rolled an earth four star and it and it's uh uh earth 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 right three earth okay so here's the one i rolled it's a one star it's a piece of crap so no one likes that one so you you need to match all the elements together and then uh um i went into market four star earth uh earth element boop and so I, f I wanted to find the comps of how to, how much I sell it for. This one is selling for 71 skill. And this one is selling for 65 skill. Look, these are, they're, these are both four stars. I put the filters on. And they're both like these, you know, earth, 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 earth. <laughs> and 71 skill. One skill is like 40 bucks right now. So 71 skill is like in the neighborhood of $2,500. Like I just, I like I have a little NFT that could be potentially worth like two thousand five hundred dollars. I saw another one for like, one was down here I believe right here. This one was selling for like fourteen skill, and this one down here is selling for like eleven skill. There's still forty bucks. That's like four hundred bucks. That's like any so this this thing could be worth anywhere from four hundred dollars to two two thousand five hundred bucks, which is incredible. 
So that was just, it's completely random, right? Here's the cool thing is if you go to combat and then you just into it, you literally, all you have to do is select the stamina, select the person you want to fight with. And then, I mean, the thing goes very, very fast. And then, uh, it, like you just, you click on your guy, you click on the weapon and then, yeah, you just go like, let's see, this one's very likely victory. And then you just fight and you confirm it in your meta mask. I know you can't see it right now. And then that's how it fights and it goes. You could have a maximum of four people. And it's so fast, like it takes me like less than three minutes in the morning to just do this after my stamina runs back up. So I like it simply because of that, simply because it is fast. And because I rolled some pretty good stuff, I didn't even know what I'm rolling on. <laughs> so there's that. The second thing is Chain Guardians. I had high hopes for this. I had very, very high hopes for Chain Guardians. I'm even, I even own Chain Guardians like coins and stuff like that. And all the artwork was amazing. All the backstory was amazing. The problem is when it came to character summoning, like you could only summon like a free one once a day. And I don't even know how to get these coins. And then when I went into campaign, I, it took me like, it was so hard to get into campaign. It was kind of buggy and glitchy. So that, that was like a big negative for me. And when I go into campaign, I go into like Bitcoin or whatever this world is, and I begin. Um, the The gameplay is a little lackluster. It's like you have to match up the, the different element types. So if this guy is like a green fighting type, that's weak to strike red. So like, and then uh, it's very like slow, you know what I'm saying? Like it's a very slow game. Like I have to click, keep clicking. There's no like auto or anything. Um, I'm not sure these guys just all of a sudden have like a I don't know like <laughs> you know what I'm saying like the it took me one two clicks to have a fight in the other game and it's taking me multiple clicks and they're like beating this guy down and I'm not sure if there's a lot of strategy in the early goings look I mean like I'm here for forever what it feels like and this isn't like if if I'm here for a long time, the gameplay better be fun. And it's not. This is not fun to me. So so I haven't made any money on it. I barely spend any time on it because it's so, it takes so long to like fight through this thing. Oh, I've got a second fight. Oh my gosh, there's three of them now. You <laughs> say like, why am I begrudgingly wanting to play this game? It's kind of it's kind of you know it's kind of bad, right? So I don't think if a, if a game's not fun or phys physically, oh dude, they killed my guy. You know what I'm saying? Not physically engaging, you're not gonna wanna play for a long time. I don't even wanna keep playing this to show you this cause it's kind of like a boring video. Like I'm just literally clicking. So no, I'm done. I'm done with this game. Not really my thing. It takes too long. I just realized I'm into like games that take like very, that are very quick. The, my third game right here is Splinterlands. Now this is a little gem. I, I have my own, um, video that I put off on it. The gameplay here is awesome. The gameplay, I mean, the, for the gameplay and the strategy, it's very, very fast. Um, and and the the uh, it's very, very polished. They have a mobile app. And if you like Hearthstone, you're gonna like some something like this. So I'm gonna pick a fire guy. And then uh, this guy has like, um, tank. you have to pick a tank and then you gotta pick like these guys who are, you know, um, um, like they fill up the mana and stuff like that. I, I mean, you could you could you could learn how to play the battle for for yourself. But there's like daily quests and there's like tiers like you get from from novice to bronze tier, and then uh, you know I, and then there's like the RNG where you have to pick and open up your own packs and you're rewarded every day if you complete the task. You're you're really well rewarded in this game. So that's what I really like. Um, I like there's a lot going on. I like that it's a very polished game for something like a blockchain game. I like that it's a card game. It's something different. It's I mean, there's no real story, I don't think, behind this. There's just kind of like card development. Like I think there's like little excerpts about these cards that they're, they're talking about. Um, and so I think that's very cool. Uh, one thing that does take a little bit is the loading process. I don't really like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to actually, well, let me tell you, um, I didn't make any money. I don't know how much money I made. These dark energy crystals that I have, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how much they're worth. <laughs> and I did buy some money. I think I put in like about 20 bucks of my own money in here and then to see what like I could get from it. 
I'm not sure how much I got from it. I don't play it every day because this loading screen does take a long time. Um, sometimes it even just skips the, the battle um, and then just like tells me if I won or not. So it's kind of kind of lame. I'm not sure if I like it or not. Um, you must lie and wait as the enemy musters their forces. There is some amount of strategy, but the strategy is all automatic. So you pick your team and your team goes in a battle for you and they just kind of just... The, it, the game just battles itself with your own team with the team that you picked um, but you are playing against other people like real people so everyone this fight is against another real person so i guess he's taking a long time to pick or play or something but this is what you'll get too um i was in Publix the other day waiting for my sandwich i popped open my phone and i played started playing splinterlands uh they have a very polished app it's um nicely done like it's a it's a very nice app you know what i mean so um yeah and you, you and your accounts are linked of course and so look this is still like telling me that the battle is still coming on here i can surrender i don't want to surrender because i don't lose I'm, I'm not losing this game right all wins baby stacking the wins um but yeah i i don't know if i will play this game in the future i do see a long a, a long-term market in this kind of game because of just the the uh the breadth of hearthstone the the depth of hearthstone i see this game like continuing i like the tiers i like the championship tiers um i like that people are competing i like that it incentivizes like i guess different seasons or different uh, i think it's called a season where like you try to earn your way up the ranks and then there's this like this massive prize at the end which is um I, this game does really well to reward its players for sure so it gets high remarks for me Okay, see, like it for, it didn't it didn't even play. Like this guy, I guess, surrendered, and so I won this many crystals. Whatever, you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and then I just got to bronze three. Boom, boom, baby. And so I guess can I can I get my can I get my money? How do I get my rewards? Oh, that comes at the end. Okay, so it ends. Season ends in seven days. So these seasons are very very short. The last one is I changed my mind on. I had high hopes for Ethermon, right? I'm known as the cowboy here, of course. Um, I had high hopes for Ethermon, but this this game is not all that great. <laughs> so like I have these starter guys, um, but then like the game is queuing me up with these guys who are like massively bigger, stronger than me. You know what I mean? Like look, this guy's level 19. I'm level two. So I'm, I mean, for the sake of the video, I'm gonna get into this fight, but I'm gonna get wrecked because of, because you're watching look they've you've got five how do you have five and then i have to attack one of the mons is defending team exceeded days and they go i'm gonna i don't know i don't know <laughs> you know what i'm saying like why is it so hard to play i don't i don't know look i'm not really into ethermon i don't want to spend too much time on it if something i don't like i thought i had high hopes for you. i was i'm into pokemon right like i love pokemon but ethermon no go for me so that's that's this review hope that was helpful for you i hope you check out some of those uh those videos those games uh, and maybe if you want hit me up and we'll play together if we can play together like make a little guild or something i have no idea not really my thing anyway thanks for watching lizard brain gorilla arms diamond hands we'll see you on the moon